بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی یوزلی ڈیوائڈ دا منتھ آف رمضان ان ڈفرینٹ پارٹس اینڈ ریسارنگ دا ہول قرآن فار ایگزامپل ٹو ٹرائی اینڈ فنش فائیو فنش دا ہول قرآن فائیو ٹائمز ان دا منتھ آف رمضان سو ان دا فرسٹ سکس ڈیز سو ایوری ڈے آفٹر ایوری پریئر یو ریڈ ون جوز دیر آر تھرٹی جوز ان دا ہول قرآن سو ایف یو کین and then after every prayer you read one juz and that's five juz a, a, a day and then in six days you'll finish the holy quran so try and finish five quran in the month of ramadan some traditions mentioned in imam sadiq al-sam used to finish 40 qurans in the month of ramadan and if you can't then some people try and finish one quran every three days so 10 juz every day if you can't then five juz every day and that will you will finish the holy quran in six days and five qurans you'll finish If you read 10 Jews every day, then you'll finish 10 Qur'ans in uh, 30 nights. If you can't, then at least um, one Qur'an in uh, every 10 nights. So the first 10 nights, uh, Rahmah, you know, the mercy of Allah SWT is with you. If you can't, then at least try and finish one Qur'an. Even if you can't finish one Qur'an, then at least uh, recite as much as you can every day. So the first 10 nights is basically... the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you try and attain as much as you can during the first 10 nights and then it is for forgiveness and you uh, have two major nights in the first in the next 10 nights uh, and then the last 10 nights we it is Laylatul Qadr and because all Muslims agree it is in the last 10 nights in the odd nights and uh, once you have been forgiven during those nights you basically prepare Uh, for the life after the month of Ramadan in those last 10 nights. In the first 10 uh, nights, one should uh, try and basically strengthen uh, themselves spiritually. In the next 10 nights, uh, you should ask for forgiveness. In the last 10 nights, you should uh, simply prepare yourself. We have so many uh, things that we can learn from, but we... don't learn many lessons. Uh, so the month of Ramadan is for teaching you lessons, for uh, teaching you how to treat others. One of the most important things is to rid ourselves from selfishness. Uh, what happens is that we become very self-centered. We all just think about ourselves and we don't think of others. So in the month of Ramadan, one should try and, uh, uh, and, and learn to, to think of others. and uh, the last 10 nights teach you that and one who uh, becomes close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, will see changes you should see going through a change from the first night up until the last night just like the water goes through filters um, so the first filter takes away uh, certain major things and then and the color still remains mucky and then the second and the third filters basically make it the water pure completely pure that's how these uh, different nights should be so the first 10 nights um, all of your major sins are taken away you ask for forgiveness in the next 10 nights you uh, change yourself um, and in the last 10 nights you are now purified you become a pure person and hence you should see a change in yourself that you have been through. Just as you go to a perfume shop and you stay there for a long time, half an hour, one hour, and you come out and everyone is asking you, what perfume are you wearing? And you say, I'm not wearing a perfume, I only was visiting a perfume shop. So likewise, once you've been in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 30 days, 29 or 30 days, you have uh, experienced the... Uh, the guest who you know becoming a guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you've had your sins forgiven you've been through a change it should reflect and everyone should notice that this person is a changed person and people should if they ask you why are you a changed person you say I am fasting I am a guest of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Ramadan and that has made me uh, become a different person and it should be reflected in your speech in your words and in your actions thank you for listening